How do stem cells differentiate into specialized cell types? Stem cells have the ability to differentiate into various specialized cell types through a process called cell fate determination. This complex process involves a combination of intrinsic factors within the stem cells themselves, as well as extrinsic signals from their surrounding environment. Here is a detailed explanation of the steps involved in stem cell differentiation. Pluripotent stem cells, embryonic stem cells, ESCs, and induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCs, are examples of pluripotent stem cells. These cells have the capacity to differentiate into any cell type in the human body. They possess a unique set of genes, including transcription factors, which maintain their pluripotent state. Gene expression regulation, the first step in differentiation is the activation or repression of specific genes within the stem cell's genome. This process is controlled by various transcription factors, which bind to specific regions of DNA either enhancing or suppressing gene expression. These factors can be intrinsic to the stem cells or induced by external signals. Signaling pathways extracellular signals from the stem cell's microenvironment play a crucial role in triggering differentiation. These signals can come from neighboring cells, growth factors, hormones, or the extracellular matrix. They initiate signaling pathways within the stem cell, activating specific transcription factors and cascades of gene expression. Lineage specification, as a result of gene expression regulation and signaling pathways, stem cells begin to commit to specific cell lineages or germ layers. The three primary germ layers are ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Ectoderm gives rise to the nervous system, skin, and sensory organs, mesoderm to muscles, blood, bones, and connective tissues, and endoderm to internal organs, such as the liver, pancreas, and gut. Cell fate determination at this stage, stem cells become more restricted in their potential and commit to a particular cell fate. Transcription factors and epigenetic modifications help determine the precise cell type that the stem cell will differentiate into. For example, in the case of neuronal differentiation, specific transcription factors, such as PAX6, SOX2, and NeuroD1, are activated, leading to the development of neural cells. Morphogenesis and maturation Once the stem cells have committed to a specific cell fate, they undergo morphological changes and further differentiate into mature, specialized cell types. This process involves cell migration, proliferation, differentiation, and apoptosis, depending on the specific tissue or organ being formed. Maintenance of cell identity Once a cell has differentiated into a specific cell type, it needs to maintain its identity throughout its lifespan. This is achieved through the stable expression of lineage-specific genes and epigenetic modifications, which ensure that the cell retains its specialized functions and characteristics. It is important to note that the process of stem cell differentiation is highly regulated and influenced by a multitude of factors. Researchers are continually studying and uncovering new details about the intricate mechanisms that control this process, with the goal of harnessing the potential of stem cells for therapeutic applications and regenerative medicine. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.